On the west coast of Africa, in the forest region of Ghana, is the legendary village of Anansi Krom, home of the redoubtable Anansi and his family. Our story is about Anansi, and as it begins, he's fast asleep, which is fortunate because it gives us a chance to meet some of the other inhabitants. This is Kakraka, the self-indulgent, water-loving hippo. Out of water, this amiable fellow is short-sighted. Oh, uh, oh, these trees, they keep getting in my way. Oh, oh, I say there, look where you're going. <laughs> He'll probably find his way to the river. He's done it often enough. This is Kukuku, a mighty but short-tempered elephant. He expects and receives right of way wherever he goes. Did you throw this mango? Mm, Nancy threw it, eh? I think I'll have a word with him. Why? Coo -coo -coo. Good morning. Good morning, Nancy. Now, see here, this mango. Did you... Not for me? That's kind of you. Mm, not right, though. Come in, my good friend. Join me for breakfast. Oh, thank you, but, but, but no, I... But, I was going to the river with Kakaka, and, and we wondered... Uh, well, uh, would you care to join us? Oh, what a lovely thought. Thank you, but alas, I'm much too busy. What a shame. Have it your own way. Yes, yes. Goodbye, old friend. Nice yay. Now, let's see. Oh, yes. I need some honey. Oh, empty. Yawa. Yes, Anansi. There's no honey. It's in there. Then go and get some. What? You mean, go see the bees? I might get stung. Well, then, go see Kukuku. Bah. Or Tintin. What? That's snooty giraffe. Perhaps it's a good idea. I need a good decoy. Oh, Tintin, tin. noblest of creatures. How are you? Fine, of course. Uh, oh, it's you, Nancy. Awake, I see. <laughs> <laughs> to give you pleasure is my pleasure, Nana Tintin. Tin. Oh. It is said that some will always get to eat before others. Of course. It is also said that a few will always tower above the rest. True, very true. Oh, yes, that's right, yes. <laughs> oh, Tintin, tin, you know the earth as you know the sky. If only I had your bearing, your stature. Naturally. Life would be so much easier. <laughs> but alas, I must go and face the bees, ill-equipped though I am. The bees? You must what? Oh, come, Tintin, tin. I just need some honey. Don't let my trifles occupy you. Goodbye. Um, uh, 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 wait, Nancy. Uh, I always find your company quite uh, refreshing. Uh, could I be of some help? No, no. I'm sure I can manage it alone. Besides, you could get stung. Don't worry, Nancy. I can handle this easily. Uh, let me help you get some honey. So Anansi secures the help of the unsuspecting Tintin. Wait, here's the tree, but I can't see the nest. Here it is, Nancy. Way up here. See? Right by my head. What's that? Oh, nice bees! And angry ones! Hold on now. I can explain. Oh, now, now, calm down. Ah, gee! Oh, it wasn't me. Ouch! Oh, help! Help! Oh. I just saw a tree run and jump in the river. Well, I wish it the best of luck. There's something going on over there. Ah, I see it's clouds. The rainy season is starting. Rainy season? Are you crazy? Mm, sounds like uh, bees! Quick, back to the rain! So Anansi collects his honey. Have the bees gone? I think so, but uh, let's stay here until we're sure. My nerves! My nerves! Ow! Me. Nancy, you've finally taken up our invitation, I see. And to think I wanted to help you. Calm down, Tintin. Let's all relax and enjoy ourselves. Those bees are a bad-tempered lot. Oh, coo, coo, coo Maybe you could help me get some honey from the bees. Uh, I thought I had a thick skin. 